How's it going everyone? My name is Bertimus and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Well, well, well now. It seems like there happens to be a stranger just right up here over the ridge. Actually, you know what? Maybe we'll go around. Yeah, let's try going around. Alright, who is this stranger and what is it they want? Okay. What's up, my man? How you doing? What is this little operation you've got going here, drying some herbs? The name's William. Okay. How you doing, William? Let me greet you. Arthur, you familiar with the study of plants, my friend? Familiar ain't quite the word I'd use. Well, let me tell you. This great earth beneath our feet can provide everything man ever needs. True, but true. we've only reached a tiny bit of its potential. Okay. You see... There are thousands, maybe millions of plants all across this vast country we share. The mountains, the plains, the swamps. I mean to explore them all, to know all of nature's bounty and all of her wonder. Okay. If I can. Sure. But I'm only one man. Would you consider helping me with gathering herbs for my studies? Why? Knowledge, kindness, beauty. Um, oh, I'm sure. Ignorant, ugly, and nasty. <laughs> well, let's see if maybe we can do something about that. Okay. I'll see. I'm looking for a plant called yarrow. You can distinguish it by its red flowers. It shouldn't be too hard to find. I don't think it's I saw some red flowers on the way here. Under direct sunlight. Can I give plants? Do I already have that? D I already got it. <laughs> Let's see how this tastes. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I feel better already. They were right. This stuff does have medicinal properties. How so? All this help, you deserve something in return. Oh. Well, this is for your horse, actually. Okay. I'll take that. Give it to Roach this later. Horse survivor. Nice. Your animal, natural uh, and otherwise. Don't ask how. Now, if you don't <laughs> mind, I'll be getting back to my studies. I look forward to our next meeting, Traveler. Okay. Yeah, no problem. Well, now. I found myself an herbalist in Red Dead Redemption. This is becoming more and more like a cowboy version of Friggin' Witcher every single day. <laughs> All right, let's go talk to John. I want to know what we got to do for these uh, oil carts. All right, John, let's let's talk again about this plan of yours, huh? How's it going? You never got us that oil wagon, did you? Not yet. Uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> I clean forgot. Well, don't worry, it's taken care of. What? Otherwise, we'd miss that train. Thank you. You're still interested in the job, ain't you? Well, yeah. Yes, but um, I think we'll need another man. I like Charles Smith for this kind of thing. I'll get him. You made us hit the wagon when you can. Okay. There's an old burnout shack up near the border north of a place called Dewberry Creek. We stashed it there. Thank you. Oh, I thought I was going to have to go get that you wagon. You make mistakes sometimes. Sometimes. Okay. So did I just bypass that part of the mission altogether? Well, well, since we missed that part of the mission, it looks like we gotta wait a little bit before we can actually go do the train heist. So while we're waiting, I figure we might as well go check out another one of these gunslingers and go check out Miss Black Bell and see what's going on with Miss Black Bell. Let's see what we can do to maybe increase some stuff, restock some stuff. I am honestly the biggest contributor of this particular camp. Holy crap. Okay. Let's see what we got. We could do some upgrades. Hey, Karen. Yeah. Let's do some resource upgrades. And that will also restock some stuff. So let's go ahead and purchase these upgrades. There we go. More tonics. More all of that stuff. Excellente. 
Next one's 75. It's not cheap, but okay. All right. Provision upgrade. Let's get that one done. You're welcome, Mr. Pearson. And all that fine stuff you've got now. <laughs> Man, we're kind of making our own little general store at this point. Let's see. And ammo upgrade. Let's see how much we got left over after this. Damn. Damn, that's looking good. Okay. We've got enough to where we could probably... Let's see, we could do a chicken coop. That might not be bad. Leather working tools. Alright, let's upgrade our lodging. The chickens are fine for now, but we could use this for ourselves. You know what I mean? Ooh! Alright, we got some nicer tents going on now. Nice, nice, nice. Very good. Very good. If Charles is still around after we get back from tracking down Black Bell, I sure would like to uh, go hunting with Charles. So we'll see if that can happen. But first of all, let's go uh, track ourselves down Black Bell and see if she'll be a little more uh, cooperative, is a good word to say, than Mr. Emmett Granger was. Hopefully there are no more shit showers that are going to happen. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Well, hold on. I gotta get off my horse first, but I'll come help you. What's going on, mister? What are you waiting for? I'm bleeding out here. Alright, alright, alright. What's going on? Ooh, is that a bear trap? Woo. Please, please help me. I'm, I'm losing blood. Please, save me. All right, well, let's get your leg out of there. Good grief. How the hell did you even walk in that thing? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, here we go. Woo. I gotta get some scrap or something here. Yeah. Oh, mister, you... I thought I was gonna be... Oh, go! Well, you might lose the leg, just to let you know. I was gonna be a goner. Oh, you... You can take whatever you want from my pack. Really, now? Saving me. Oh. Okay. All right. Whatever I want, huh? Okay. Well, I mean, I'm not going to complain if you say it's all right. You need anything else, sir? Here. Take take some whiskey. Oh, oh, yeah. There you go. There you go. That'll numb the pain a little. Well, not so much at once. Okay. Well, all of it then. Yes. Oh. Oh. All right, man. You have yourself a good time. Guess it serves me right. Oh. For walking in your own trap? Yeah. <laughs> Good luck, dude. Roach, come on. We got places to be and people to see. Woo. Suddenly this area feels a lot like Florida. Is that a snapping turtle over there? I'm gonna have like alligators or something. Oh my god, there's an alligator right there. Two of them. Well, we might have to go alligator hunting here pretty soon. Maybe after we're wrapped up with Miss Bell. Woo woo! Look at that thing. Okay. Maybe. Maybe we'll just take this one out. You know what I mean? It's a three star. So hopefully I've got the right kind of rifle for it. Right in its face! <laughs> oh, I love this gun! Black Bell's right over there. I'm sure she can wait a hot second for me to go get this thing off of this. There we go. Let's go skin us an alligator. Whoo! Now hopefully... I got another one coming up on me while I'm out here. 
That would be terrible. Ooh! Right through the dome. Oh, it stayed three star! Yes! <laughs> three star alligator skin! That's what I'm talking about. Ooh. Oh my. You know, I have to give them credit for all the different skinning animations they did for this entire game. Holy crap! What? Look at his head all tucked up on the top! Damn. Well, okay. Three star alligator carcass. Ha damn. Another one in the water over there? Probably. Scary sons of bitches. Miss Black Bell. How you doing? You there. Ooh. Hello? You a bounty hunter? Nope. Well, not right now, I ain't. You Black Bell? I'd like to talk to you about your Wild West days. I don't care much for reminiscing. You got any friends as bounty hunters? Not that I'm aware of. Spring to mind. Well, then you done led them boys here, and you none the wiser. Who the hell are they? Ah, those bounty hunters. Knew my luck had run out sooner or sooner. Well, get inside. I'll tell them you're gone. Oh, no, no. I ain't hiding from them scalp hunters. Okay. I'm running from them neither. And fighting? Yeah, if it's just me against them, <laughs> that'd be a waste of time and nitroglycerin. I'm sorry, what now? Well, let me know what I can do. You want that Wild West story, don't you? Nitro. Yes, I do. All right. Get up here quick. We're going to kill these bounty hunters with you. Hit that. Whole place is wired. Oh! Black Bell. I got a She got the place rigged? For your life or your liberty. We'd sooner it be liberty. That's mighty reasonable, mister. Come here. Let me take a look at it. Come okay. On. Wait for it. Oh, come on. Wait for it. Stop just there. Okay, here we go. Ho oh, ho! Oh! Holy crap! Woo! There we go. Ha ha! Oh, we got more? Oh, I see him. I see him. Oh, I got his hat. All right, there's another one. There's more of them. Ooh, there's a bunch of them. Oh my God, there's another plunger. All right, I'll hit this plunger. Boosh! Ha 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 ha! No more Gatling gun for you, sir! Hot damn! Where you at? There you are. Why don't you sit down? Woo! We got more of them? We got more. Oh my god, I only got his hat? Come on! There we go. There we go. We got more? Oh, we got more. Where you at? Bell, I gotta be honest. I don't even see him. Where they at? I think we got somebody stuck in a tree. I'm gonna have to go check it out. There we go. Now we got somebody coming in. There we go. That's what we needed to do. Is that the last of them? Yeah. I reckon he was stuck way off. off your back. Yeah, for now. For now. So, huh. you gonna tell me about your Wild West days? That was awesome. Running with Jim Boy Calloway. Little Boy Calloway? <laughs> The only running he did was away from a fight. And that's about the end of it. Well, a man's apparently a famous gunslinger. Yeah, so they say. But, uh, 
Don't get what's famous confused with what's true. I get it. I the get it. Once of us that lived that life, we was too busy being scared for our scalp to talk to no newspaper writers or <laughs> dime novel men. Okay, so he's just what were they piggybacked like off the real Those stories, I see. They all talk about. Hmm. Same as now, I guess. Only longer ago. Mm, mm. <laughs> all right. I'm going to need your picture, too, if it ain't a trouble. No, sir, no trouble at all. Can't be worse than those awful drawings on the wanted posters. <laughs> well, great. But you stand over there and uh, let me get this thing ready. There we go. Uh, ready? How do you want me? Like this? There we go. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Hold on. Let me let me get a little. Let's frame you up. Bam! That's a great okay. shot. I like Got that. It. And I guess I'll be on my way. There. <laughs> well, thank you, Mrs. Bell. You gonna be all right? Oh, been running for twenty years. Suppose I'll be running till I drop. Probably. Just the way it is. Yeah. I like her. She's real Good cool. <laughs> I like her a lot. Oh my god. No way. An Emmett Granger cigarette card. What? Give me that. Famous gunslinger card. Emmett Granger. I ought to take a little brown marker or some mud or something and, <laughs> you know, fix it up proper. Mm -mm. Well, hell. Look what we got here. I reckon you're not part of the crew yet. I want to consider subscribing unless you want to miss out on everything with Dutch and the boys. Now don't trouble yourself, you hit that bell icon, you'll know exactly the next time we all go riding out. There you have it. Now that that's done, why don't you sit a spell and let Arthur keep telling the story. Let's get back to camp and see if we can't meet up with Charles and do a little bit of hunting. Is this man dead in his horse? Oh! Whoa! I need a doctor. What the hell? Okay. Oh no, my alligator skin. Please do something. <sighs> you're lucky. You help. Just stay alive. You're, you're lucky you know that, that I am nicer okay. than that. Oh, my alligator skin. All right. I need to take you to a doctor in Saint Denis. Okay, I can do that. This dude just fell off his horse. What the hell happened to you, man? You better stay with me now. Stay conscious. I'll get us there. You, you all right, dude? Woo! Nearly there. Just hold on a little longer, all right? Oh man, we're going to a big town for this. Stay awake. Yes. You must stay awake. Holy crap, okay. Let's get this man into into town. Hopefully without hitting anybody. Holy crap. My arm. I can't feel it. That's okay, that's okay, it's okay. We're here. We're here, we're here, we're here. Come here, mister. Come here. Sorry everybody. I got a sick man. I need to get him into this here doctor right now. Don't mind my horse, please don't mind my horse. Oh, good God. Quickly, bring him in here. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Good grief. Oh, his arm is bad too. Alright. Give him a little nudge right. with my shoulder. You still Stand awake, sir? Alright. Set him down. Ooh, what happened, man? Just saw you fall out of the saddle. Don't worry, you're at the doctor. Thanks, friend. I appreciate it. What happened? Sure. There's also the matter of my payment. But we'll deal with that later. Yeah, okay. All right. All right. A lot of blood loss. And this wound's badly infected. I'll save as much as I can, but I'll have to amputate it. Ooh! What did you say? Just try to breathe. Uh, He's gonna take the arm. I'll give you something for the pain. Oh my god, is he gonna take the arm right now? And I'll knock him out for a while. You did a good thing bringing him here. But now, I'd recommend moving along. You do not want to see this. I kind of do. 
If you're gonna take the arm, I kinda wanna see it. Oh. Sorry it's come to this. Oh! Oh! Oh my goodness! He's cutting it off right now! Oh! Oh my god! There it goes! And now it's black and dead. <laughs> Holy crap! I just watched a man's arm get cut off. I saved this man's life so he could lose an arm. Wow! Yeah, you might want to... Well, just get rid of that. Good grief. Well, good luck to you, mister. I hope you stay alive, even though you've only got the I one arm now. Way, but you'll pull through. Whew! Good grief. And we're in the big town of Saint Denis. This is a nice town. I have a feeling I'm here a little early, but uh, that's all right. We can head back to camp now. But we saved a man's life. Kind of wish I still had that alligator skin, though. I have a feeling it's completely despawned by now. Ah, oh, it's a damn shame. This is real nice. And my core is low. Ooh, I hope they have some stew when I get back to camp. My health core... My health core is so low, probably because I'm wearing a warm jacket. In my off-screen time, I went back to the trapper because I managed to get a, a nice bison skin. And I got the, uh... The bed... <laughs> There's an alligator right under the bridge. Okay, I will keep moving. That was scary sounding. Um... What I was going to say is that I got the, the bear skin, so I got the bear hat and the bear skin now, uh, but the bear skin jacket is too, uh, it's too warm for these hot, muggy, swampy climates. Alright, well, Charles is sadly no longer available to go hunting. Hopefully that comes back, because I'd like to go do that at some point, but Mr. Lenny here has a little game of five-finger fillet. Hey, Arthur. That knife's sharp enough. Eh? Yes, I know it's pronounced Why? filet. You Thank you. Lucky? <laughs> Do you? Oh, before me? At least six generations were born in chains. And for the last three years, I've been running from every lawman and bounty hunter west of the Lanahassee River. So, yeah, I feel lucky. All right. I'm the living embodiment of luck. That is one way of seeing things. That's, bad. That's a I'm good way of seeing things. It's not a bad way. In this game, you got to have luck and skill. Uh-oh. And stupidity. The Outlaw's Trinity. <laughs> Luck, skill, and just a dose of stupidity. Come on. You ain't too old and too slow just yet. Oh, hey, you, hey. As you wish. You know, Watch it. Oh, we should head back up. I can't wear my gloves. And make Jenny a proper grade. Some nice. Nah, we're just going to go right into it. I don't need to practice. I got this. Practice is for chumps. Uh-huh. Oh, you got you yourself. Oh, shit. That's two you cut yourself now. Okay. How do you do this? Alright. A. Oh, okay. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Uh huh. Okay, how are we gonna do this? A B. <laughs> What's up, Lenny? What's up? Uh huh. Uh huh. Your turn. Okay. All right. What, what do we got here now? Oh shit. Oh! Oh! 
Okay. Okay. No, I think we're done. That last one screwed me up just a little bit, but only a little bit. But I was fine. Okay. Little five finger fillet. I got my my fingies are a little cut up now. I don't suspect we got like sticky band aids or anything. Oh, it's just turned into a domino table. <laughs> All right. Well, let's see. Who who needs me over here? Is Abigail? Abigail. All right. Let's go have ourselves a chat with Miss Abigail. Thank you.